So let us get right to it. We are going to be responding to the protagonist and his predictions on who will live, who will die, and who are the killers. I do think some things are way too obvious about some people who will be killed. Probably the most obvious is Gale. So we'll start with people who are killed. I think we both agree Gale will definitely die. And we'll go with his list. And I will respond and then move on to those that will live and the possible killers. And it is a fascinating list. It's the senior character in the franchise. So, um, yeah, I think they're just going to get rid of the older characters and move on from here, right? Um, number two, Sasha will likely die. She seems startled during the trailer, and I'm beginning to think uh, she's not going to make it. Wouldn't be surprised if she's the first character killed in the movie. Um Next, Carly will also die. I don't know shit about her character, to be honest with you. That just, I don't know who she's supposed to be or, you know, whatever. But anyway, Mindy, uh, number four, will also likely die. As it would be similar to Scream 2, where her uncle Randy was killed off. Yeah, I do agree that Samara is very intriguing. That she's a new character, so it is likely... Also, she will die at the beginning, uh, he or at least the first third. Somehow miraculously and that would fit because she is a blonde, an and that goes Richie back to Drew Barrymore. And how Drew just, Barrymore died in the him. first one. So, probably the list will be Gail and Samara. But I have doubts what he's saying about Mindy and Chad, and we'll get to that. I'm not so sure they will survive. But in terms of Gail, yeah, she's just a very old character. It's hard to see why they would keep her around. So I think it's unfortunate that Gail probably is dead. And I do concur that Carly will be dead. I think what they're going to do is make her meta. Because Stab is real in that fictional universe. So I think we're basically seeing the death of basically an actress. I think that's what they're going to set up. And she could be likely the first person dead. Because again, a lot of these new characters we know for sure are going to be dead. So now let's get to the main core cast and who we think will live. And I'm actually shocked he thinks so many people are safe. Who's most likely to be the killers or killer? I think it's entirely possible, number one, for that if Sam continues to decline mentally, that she could become a killer. Um, as in one of the ghost face killers, right? She has auditory and visual hallucinations of, you know, from her homicidal father who suggests or encourages homicidal behavior for her, right? I'd rather her not end up being a killer unless it's written well, so we'll just have to see how that goes. Number two, Chad is also a candidate to be a killer in this film. Uh, I still don't understand how he survived the attack that he did in Scream 5. I assumed he was killed off until we were shown that he was alive. Perhaps it was a callback to the original film when Billy and Stu stabbed each other to make it seem believable that they were attacked. Well, I agree that Sam will probably make it. I do think it's pretty obvious they're setting up a twist where she will be one of the killers. I don't think she will be the two main killers. My theory is there will at least be two killers in the main story one of the killers will definitely be her therapist who the other killer is we don't know i mean they usually make it all over the place it could be a man or woman it could be anything i think sam will be revealed as a third killer at the very end she'll sort of be pushed over the edge because again we do see her running with technically tara so unless this is a hallucination they do seem to be joined together for at least a little bit of the movie, so I would imagine if she becomes the killer, that is at the very end. I disagree with him on Jenna. I don't think Jenna is safe. He's reasoning that she's a star, she will be safe. I think quite the opposite, because she is a star, she's too expensive. So they're better off killing her off if they want her for the next movie, just make her a big cameo, right? As a ghost or as a memory or flashback scenes and do it that way. So I don't think her star power will protect her. So I actually think the opposite. But he actually convinced me on Kirby. I was leaning towards Kirby will be killed. 
but I think it does make sense. She will be saved for Scream 7. But I would add that she'll live, but she will be so injured within an inch of her life. So she'll barely make it. I think that's the way they're going to do it. I also agree that maybe Chad can be a potential killer, but I think that's going to mark him for death. So I would say, yes, he's correct that Mindy will die, but I think Chad will die. Whether he will be one of the killers, I don't know. So I do think Chad, Mindy, Samara, Gail, they're dead, and probably Carly as well. It's quite a lot of bodies. I also think they will pull the trigger on Jenna. I think they're saving Jenna to be killed towards the very, very end with Sam becoming another ghost face killer, and that's how they're going to resolve that. So some uh, disagreements, but I do agree in general where he's going with this. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed on Samara. I kind of wish they would keep her and develop her character, but yeah, they probably just are having her in here for a very shocking kill at the very beginning, so unfortunately. So some good predictions, but I disagree on who the killers are, and some of the people were safe and some of the people were dead, but some uh, fascinating thoughts from the protagonist.